far to the northwest of Hawaii's main islands are a series of islets, reefs, and atolls few people even know exist. They are the Leeward Islands, remote, mostly wilderness regions that are home to millions of tropical birds that nest, breed, and raise their chicks. Frigate birds, boobies, and the Laysan albatross, whose wingspan can exceed six feet in length, call these regions their home. as do several species of sea turtles, a variety of sharks, and vast schools of fish that light up the seas like tropical rainbows. These remote places are also home to one of the rarest, least known, and most endangered of all marine mammals, the Hawaiian monk seal. It is here, in these remote places, with names like Laysan, Lysiansky, and Midway Islands, French frigate shoals, and Curie Atoll, that the monk seal struggles to survive. Although closely related to elephant seals, unlike its larger cousins, monk seals do not group together in large numbers, but instead prefer isolation, which because of the limited space on these tiny specks of land, keeps their numbers naturally low, a factor that provides little margin for any impact on their populations, especially the presence of humans. Dominant male monk seals stand guard over their females, challenging other males that might compete for mating rights. These one-on-one -on -one fights appear to be a natural mechanism by which only the healthiest males father young pups. Yet throughout the monk seal's limited range, all was not well. In some locations throughout the Leeward Islands, monk seal females began to disappear at an alarming rate, reducing dramatically the ability of the species to repopulate. Bill Gilmartin is the president of the Hawaii Wildlife Fund and former director of the monk seal recovery program for the National Marine Fisheries Service. As best as we can, determined up until about the 1950s, there were probably in the neighborhood of about 3,000 to 3,500 monk seals. During the 60s and 70s, those numbers declined to about half of that, and it was at that point the Hawaiian monk seal population was listed as endangered. And that decline was due, as best as we can tell, from human disturbance, people on beaches chasing animals off, disturbing the habitat sufficiently that Adult females uh, gave birth in less preferred habitat, causing higher mortality of their pups, and over time that translated into fewer numbers of females. The reduced female population created an enormous problem for them, for as they came into their breeding cycle, mobs of males would fight over the rights to mate, and females, often caught in the middle of this uncontrolled aggression, suffered immeasurably. This problem of, of adult male mobbing, we first identified in 1978, observing an incident of about a dozen adult males attacking, uh, resulting in the death of an adult female at Laysan Island. We've seen this repeatedly now over the years killing uh, several females each year at Laysan, and the problem is also occurring at Lysiansky Island. At least part of the cause seems to be related to a highly skewed adult sex ratio, where there are in the neighborhood of two to three adult males per adult female. At Laysan, the sex ratio has been declining over the last 10 years, but nevertheless, the, uh, 
behavior appears to be learned by animals and uh, is still occurring there. And it may extinguish over time uh, as the sex ratio uh, becomes equal and uh, maintains that equality for a while. But to date, we're still experiencing the problem. Uh, it results in enough deaths of adult females and young seals that those two populations are not able to recover. Those num the numbers there have been relatively stable over the last 10 years, and it's primarily due to the loss of females, of the reproductive power of those females. The healthy monk seal population at French frigate shoals occasionally resulted in females abandoning their young for lack of beach space to raise them. One of our activities here to try and save animals is collecting some of the females that are starving here and relocating them to another island where we believe there are more food resources. In essence, trying to salvage animals that would have died here anyway. We're trying to follow through and, uh, and do what we can to save as many animals here as possible by that means. The pups were fed and medicated on location and prepped for their flight back to the main islands. Here at Sea Life Park on Oahu, they were fed and cared for for up to a year in preparation for relocating them in areas like Curie Atoll, where the female population was critically low. In conjunction with efforts to remove aggressive males or reduce their aggression with medication, the stabilization process slowly began to take hold. If we've had a failure, uh, it's been, as I see it anyway, our inability to work through some of these problems faster. Just a lack of resources to work on the problems and try and determine what solutions may work. So the process has been slower than I'd like to see it, but, but we are making progress. And I think we're at a point where we, we know the problems and it's just a matter of trying a bit more to uh, get some of the last problems resolved.